Amanda and Brent, good evening to both of you. His name is Blaine Sapelli, and he says thankfully when things were closing down, he was able to work from home with his job as an English teacher. Now, while things right now are getting better, there are still precautions being taken to help keep the virus cases from spiking again. Now they do temperature checking. Connecticut native Blaine Sapelli documenting his experience in China for friends and family in this YouTube video. I live in Shenzhen, mm -hmm. which is the city right next to Kong. Uh, Sapelli has been working as an English teacher in China, where places outside of Wuhan, the epicenter of the coronavirus pandemic, are starting to lift restrictions. So what they're moving towards is with the new personal uh, health measures, and the public health measures that are in place. They're trying to get the economy moving again. While businesses are starting to resume, he says there are things still in place to help stop the virus cases from spiking again, like when coming home to his apartment. And right now there's only one gate open uh, and they do temperature checks when you're there. Uh, there's an app on your phone where you have to scan in order to get in. Or heading back out. They won't let me out of the complex without wearing a mask. It's become law in the province Sapelli lives. If you don't wear the mask, there's a fine associated with being outside and caught. While things are somewhat improving, Sapelli says he can't help but think of his family here in the U.S. Oh, I think about my uh, grandmother who is living uh, alone by herself right now down in Georgia. <laughs> And uh, my, fam my family trying to stay all connected. And as someone who's been through the shutdowns we are now experiencing, he is offering this advice. Be smart. Uh, wash your hands. Don't touch your face. Uh, have a stockpile of stuff, but don't go crazy with it. And to remain calm. Life goes on. Everything will be okay. And in addition to all of that advice, Sapelli says he is also urging folks here to follow that social distancing warnings and to just hang tight on things, uh, things improve here, rather. Back to you guys.